Hey guys, so I hope you all had a really nice Christmas or just holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, today I'm gonna do my Christmas haul. Loads of people have asked for it, so I'm doing it for them. If you're not into hauls like this, then please feel free not to watch. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what all of like my family and friends and fiance and everyone bought me. Um, if you have got me a gift and it's not in this haul, it's not because I don't love it. Don't be offended. I love absolutely everything. It's just because some things I've used and put away or I've put them out in places or I've eaten them or whatever um, this is just kind of what I could think that I got and put in a pile so if yours isn't here I still absolutely loved it and um, we're gonna start off as always with the biggest things first and the first thing I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to properly show on here because it's like a little table so me and my mum went to the Stockport like goth market last week and she bought me this or she bought me and Gary this so it's a little black wooden table hopefully you can kind of see that and then on the top it's got a real preserved spider web in there with like a glass put over it I know that's not showing up the best on camera right now but I'll maybe try and take a picture and then insert it here now of this little table Then next I got a Tiffany doll. Now I have taken her out of here so she's a bit um, like she's not stuck in there anymore. She's moving around but I already had the Chucky one so I did want the Tiffany one. At first I didn't actually want this one. Um, I did want the one where she's got like an angrier face but Gary bought me this and he showed it to me first to see if I liked it because on the box she looks really weird but that's not actually what the doll looks like so she looks way cuter in person. Um, I'll get her out actually so you can see her without the glare a little bit better. So this is what she looks like. I need to sort her hair out a little bit because it's been in like a plastic wrap in the box. But she looks like this. She has a very cute little Tiff necklace and her tattoo. Little leather jacket and wedding dress on. The cutest little boots. Um, and she does speak as well. Let's... Uh... So yeah, she says like eight different things. Um, like I said, I've got the Chucky already, so I'm gonna stand her with him. She is very, very cute. Then next I got some boots from Demonia. Demonia? Demonia? I'm not really sure how you say it, but this brand anyway. Um, and this is what they look like. So obviously not everyday boots. These are kind of like a going out sort of boot. Um, but they are very, very shiny. And then they've got a matte toe and heel, a bit of a platform. And then this little O-ring zipper down the side. Very cute, I'm a UK six. So that is what they look like. Then next I got a little Steve Madden bag. So we saw this in TK Maxx and I thought it was really, really cute. I was kind of stuck between getting the slime green sort of colored one or this pumpkin-y orange one, but I did go for the orange because I thought it would go with more things. It comes as a cute little gift set like this. So this is the main bag at the bottom. I've not even taken it out yet. Um, this is like a little coin purse kind of clip-on thing, I think. And then it's got a plain handle at the back. Oh, there's also these two. So this one's like a really colourful one. And then this is another different kind of orange, a crossbody sort of one. Um, like I said, I've not taken it out, so I've not seen it properly. But I think there's loads of different compartments and stuff in there. So that is my new cute little Steve Madden bag. And then we got a Rington's um, little hamper. So this is like a tea and biscuit sort of hamper. I'll show you what's inside. I won't show you everything, but this is kind of what it looks like. So there's like ginger biscuits, cookies, chocolate cookies, teas, um, shortbreads, another tea, decaf tea, loads of different snacks. So that's a really cute little hamper. 
And then next I got some new hair things. So the first thing is a new hair dryer, a Tresemme one. Um, it comes with a heat protection spray, some little rollers and clips and a brush and things like that. My hair dryer is fine, honestly, but it's just really old and really loud and it's getting a bit clogged up and gross. So I just asked for a new, nicer hair dryer. So I got this one. And then next I got some car hair straighteners. So my hair is that hair where even if a tiny drop of water touches it, it will go frizzy immediately. Um, there has been many times where I've done my hair and we've gone out and it's rained a little bit and I look crazy. So I thought that this was a really good idea to keep these in the car. They go into like the cigarette lighter port on the car and um, they got okay reviews on Amazon saying that they heated up and stuff. So they were pretty cheap as well really cute thought they would be handy and i also got this beach waver so this is a hair curler it's called beach waver b1 i got it in the glittery black color I'll show you what it looks like so it looks like this and basically this is one of those that like spins on its own so you'll get a little bit of hair and clip it into there and then you press the button and it like spins up on its own or down on its own um yeah my curl is really old so i just thought i would get a nice new posh hair curler then next i got four teddies this year so three of them are charlie bears and one of them is this one this bunny i have seen him somewhere before i'm not really sure what brand he is because he doesn't have a label but i've definitely seen it somewhere before so he's got these big floppy ears with little hearts on and like some stitching and a little leather collar it's very cute little white tail so that is the bunny and then these are the three charlie bears i got so this one is called gary obviously because my fiance is called gary so i'm assuming that that is why we got this one um he is just a little multicolored brown one with like a fluffy neck and he's got a little love heart down here then next I got Luna, which obviously is for my name on here. And she is a, a blue and like beigey kind of colour, more of um, a shaggy furred sort of one. And she has a little necklace on here as well, which is a little love heart. So that is Luna. And then I got this one, which is called Licorice. Now I love Licorice, so I'm assuming that that's why I got this one. He's just a big black bear with a little red bow and like a pink red kind of stitching. So that one is licorice. Then next I got this photo frame. Now I think this is kind of like one of those Etsy like handmade kind of things. It's so so cute. So we have a very ornate golden frame and then down here we've got this little I think he's supposed to be like a Nosferatu vampire kind of guy. He's made out of clay. The detail is not showing up great on camera because it's really bright, but he is so detailed. He's got these cute little pointy fangs at the front and he like sticks out of the frame, which is so cute. So we're going to put a big picture of me, Chili and Gary in here and then put this up somewhere. Very unusual. Love him. Then next I got some gin. I pretty much always get gin every year. If you've seen my channel before and seen my hauls before, you will know I always get unicorn gin. It's like a marshmallow sort of flavoured gin. It's pink, it's got sparkles in it. Um, like shimmery, hopefully you can see that. I love it. I've got so many different ones, but marshmallow gin is one of my favourite like alcohol drinks, so... This is my yearly bottle of unicorn gin. Then next in my stocking, I got some cute little fuzzy socks. So they're very like neon, but dark, if that even makes sense. They're like really bright pink with blue and black and white and stuff. They've got little jelly pads on the bottom so you don't slip. And then they've got really, really soft furry tops and insides. Just some cute little cozy socks for the house. I also got these in my stocking, little Super Mario um, keyring, like mystery things. Unfortunately, I did get two of the same ones. I did get two Luigi's, but that is fine. So that is what they look like, little fireball Luigi's. Maybe me and Gary can both have one of those each. 
very cute. And then I got lots of sweets and chocolates. So the first one is some Ferrero Rocher. Um, one of my favourite chocolates, absolutely love these. I also love the white ones with the coconut of these as well. They're amazing, but I got a little box of those. I got this little tub, Rainbow Vibes it's called. It's got little um, love heart chewy ones at the bottom. These like straw pencil ones in the middle and then marshmallows on top. We'll definitely be tucking into that later. I nearly ate it last night, but then I thought, no, I need to save it for the video. So um, this will be gone later. I got some munchies. If you've not had these before, it's kind of like a little bit of biscuit with caramel around it and then chocolate around that. So I got a tube of those. Then I got some little Lindt Lindor balls. Again, one of my favorite chocolates. These are just the plain like milk chocolate ones. I love these. So I've got a box of them. Then um, I got some seashells. Again, one of my favorite chocolates. I think these three that I've just shown are like my favorite chocolates in the world. Um, I've never had these ones before. These are the caramel ones. These actually came from our neighbor downstairs because we're having trouble with the middle neighbor and we both mutually hate her. So I gave downstairs wine and she gave us these, which was very lovely. Um, like I said, I've never had caramel ones. So super excited to try those. Then next I got some Turkish Delight. I feel like this is one of those things that I get every year. Love Turkish Delight. Um, this is the rose and lemon flavoured one. It's a very acquired taste. A lot of people don't like it but I love it so have a box of that. And then I got this cute little American candy hamper kind of thing. I've already been in here obviously um, but we have Sour Patch Kids, Mike and Ike's, Nerds, Toxic Wastes. There was a Reese's bar in here. Um, just some little American sweets that we don't really get over here. We do get Sour Patch Kids over here, but they're not the same. They're not as fizzy and they don't have the blue ones, which are like the best ones. So, oh no, throwing them everywhere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is that. Then next I got some little croc flip-flops. I do already have croc flip-flops, but I wanted these ones because these ones have the little holes and I'm gonna put little spike croc studs in them. Um, the other ones I've got don't have the little holes for some reason, but I'm gonna remove this one obviously and just put spikes in them instead. So I'll have little spiky croc flip-flops. Then next I got two things from the Blackened Teeth. I got things from them last year as well. I got like a crossbones and a longer bone that goes on the wall. This year I got this guy, which is a like a replica human skull. Um, obviously I would never get a real human skull. It's not for me. I like the animal ones and stuff, but humans are just, for me personally, like I don't like that. So I got a little replica one instead in black. It's just like an ornament. It's pretty heavy. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him yet, but very cool though. So I got that one. And then I also got this, which is like a little teeth trinket tray kind of thing. Hopefully you can see that on camera. I don't know how well it's showing up, but just a little tray to put like your rings in and stuff. I've just remembered I didn't just get those from Black and Teeth. I also got two other things from one of my friends as well. Um, so I got this little candle. It's called Mourner's Biscuit Sweet Sorrow. And this smells just like really, really strong gingerbread. Absolutely amazing. I love it. It smells so, so good. Um, probably not going to burn it, honestly. I'm probably going to keep it as a decoration. So we have Mourner's Biscuit. And then I also have this little guy, which is just a little ghosty candle. Again, not showing up great on camera, but he's just like a little molded ghost shape with a wick coming out the top. Again, probably won't burn this one. But yeah, he was from the Blackened Teeth as well. Then next I got some Jeffree Star bits. So I did pick these up in the sale because they were super, super cheap. So I got three lipsticks. I got Androgyny, which I already have, but it's gone all crusty. So I got a new one. I got Christmas Cookie and I got Deceased. So they are the three lipsticks. And then I also got one of the Cleaver mirrors. Um, I did want the white one with the blood splatter, but it's been sold out for ages. So this one came in the sale for like $9 or something crazy like that. And I had to get this one. So this one is called the UFO Killer. So this is what this one looks like. 
black with the green splatter. Obviously it is a mirror on that side. Just thought it was really cute. I'm gonna hang it up with my makeup and stuff as like a little decoration kind of thing. Then next I got a 2024 calendar. This is from October 31st, the website. And all of the pictures are like a spooky, vintage Halloween kind of theme. So, so cute. I won't show you all of them because I don't want to ruin it for anyone else that wants to get it or anything like that. But they are so cute. Love that. So that is my new little yearly calendar. Then next I got two different perfumes. So the first one I got is the Burberry Her Elixir. Um, this one is very like strawberry, I would say. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's a 100 ml one, this one. And if you've ever smelt Calpol, that is what this reminds me of, but like in the best way. It's just really sweet, really strawberry. If you're not into fruity, sweet smells, you're probably not gonna like this, but that is my favorite. So um, that is the first one, Burberry. And then the next one I got is an Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium Neon. Um, don't love the original Black Opium, but I smelled this one in the shop and it's so, so nice. This one is definitely like the fruitier version. So it's the same sparkly pretty black bottle but the middle of this one is like a hot pink instead and yeah this one it does smell kind of similar to the original but it just has more of a fruitiness to it I would say so again if you don't like the fruity sweet ones I wouldn't get that one either but that is my second perfume then next I got these two. So this is from Wittard Chelsea 1886. I know that these make a lot of hot chocolates and coffees and stuff, but these are instant teas. So we absolutely love getting boba or bubble tea, whatever you want to call it. And this like really reminded me of the fruit ones of those. So I got a pink lemonade one and a lychee and mango one. Um, I'm going to probably buy some of the little popping bubbles off Amazon and like make my own bubble tea with these it's like a powder that you put into water so got two of those and i got some nails so if you know me i always have crazy nails on i got these ones which are little like jack skellington ones that say trick or treat i got these ones i've had these ones before these are black with the cobwebs and the little spiders and stuff on and then I got these ones, which I've not had before. These are little Beetlejuice ones. We've got like a spiral, some slime, a spider, little Beetlejuices here. Very, very cute. Then I got a little uh, perfume like sampler. So I have seen this brand before on Instagram. It's called Cursed. And this one is called Pretty As Poison. So it just comes like this. And this one is like cherry, almond, plum, vanilla, that kind of thing. It sounds amazing. I'm not going to spray it in here, but it does smell really, really good though. So I might try and get other samplers of these and see which one is my favourite and get like a big bottle of this cursed stuff because it looks really cool. But I got this one to try. Then next I got some of these little like footsy slipper things. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They're super, super fluffy on the inside and they're stripy with little jacks on the outside. I do love these. I wear these quite a lot. Not these specific ones, obviously, but the same kind of ones. So I can get rid of my old ones and replace them with these. Very cute. Then I got a new Switch game. So I used to be really into games. I don't play them that much anymore. But when I saw this one coming out, I had to have it. This is the Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Um, I just love Mario. It's so cute. It's so like fun to play when you've nothing else to do. I am having an operation in a few months. So I feel like this will give me something to do when I'm off work for a little bit. Um, yeah, I was playing it a bit last night. I played a few levels. It's really, really cute. So I got that. Then next, a bit of a random one. I did ask for this one. I got a recipe book, but like an empty recipe book that you write in because I feel like I've got just loads of notes on my phone of like how to make gingerbread and how to make cakes and things like that. And I wanted to write them down. So I got a little empty recipe book. And then I also got this one. I've not looked at this properly yet. This is a 2024 horror diary. Um, it says a horror a day keeps the monsters at play. 12 months of horror. 
Um, I think it's maybe like got a horror film each day that you're supposed to watch or something like that. I'm not 100% sure or maybe it might be the day that they were made. Who knows? Like I said, I've not really looked at it properly yet, but it looks really cool though. It's got some different pages as well as the diary. It's got like colouring pages and stuff. Very, very cute little spooky diary. And then I've got a few little like stocking stuffer kind of things. So I got this little phone grip. It's like a little haunted house. I know you can't see it great in the packet, but it's like a little clear pop socket thing with a haunted house on it. And then I got this cute little ghost plushy keyring. Very cute, very chubby, love him. I got a spooky refreshing foot mask. I think this is one of those that like peels the skin off your feet a few days later. Um, it's like little booties. They have ghosts on them and say boo and stuff. Very, very cute. I got some little candy canes, pick and mix. These are strawberry rainbow twist gummy bear and bubblegum bottle flavored, which sounds amazing. I got a new little Victoria's Secret sparkly wristlet. I use these every single day. This is what my keys, like my house keys and my car keys go on. Um, mine is old and gross, so I love this one. A new sparkly pink one. I got the Chucky Glam Light Lip Kit. Wasn't expecting this, it's super cute. It comes with two little, um, a lip liner and a lipstick. They're kind of like a nude sort of color. Just love the packaging, honestly. I might just keep it as like a display kind of thing. But there is that. And then the last thing I got is this little Scream tumbler, which is adorable. I'm pretty sure these came from America in the cinema when the new Scream film came out. This is the one with the blood splatter on his face, which again, I think was like the harder one to find. So I've no idea where they got this from, honestly, but I love it though. Um, don't know whether to use this or keep it as like a collectible in the horror room. Not sure. But yeah, that is my little ghost face tumbler. So yeah, that was everything that I got for Christmas 2023. So thank you so, so much to everyone that got me anything, all my family and friends and fiance and everyone. Um, I loved everything. And if I didn't show you a thing, then I still love it. It's just that I've probably used it, like I said. Um, you'll have to let me know what your favorite thing was that I got. If you got any of these, what you got. If you've done any videos, please feel free to link them. I will watch them. And I hope you had a great Christmas. If you're not already, then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye guys.